We're Optowatt. We lower your Tesla's electric bill by 70% on average and make charging effortless, all while making our planet greener. Hi, I'm Ben with Optowatt, and today we're going to look at your SCE bill. With looking at your SCE bill, we're going to look at tiered plans versus time of use plans, looking at the differences, along with looking at your transmission charges, your generation charges, and your taxes. And we'll go ahead and take a look at more of a true cost of savings and how your bill breaks down. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we're taking a look at a time of use bill here. I understand as of right now, uh, SCE, so Southern California Edison, are only displaying three types of bills on their website. So if you look up TOU rates, you'll see uh, TOU 4 to 9, TOU 5 to 8, also TOU D prime. Um, I know if anybody's interested in like the NEM plans, uh, you can no longer get a NEM uh, 1.0 plan. If you're a new customer, it's NEM uh, 2.0, and those kind of follow uh, a 4 to 9 schedule. You can negotiate to get it different. It's just depending on who you're talking to at SE, and they are really wor willing to work with people who do have solar. But as of right now, what we're taking a look at here with the bill page, it does have the your personal information on it. So it will have like your name and address along with your customer account and then your rotating outage group number along with it does break down of like when your peak times off peak and mid peak times are along with it, give you, it gives you your average here. So what we want again is the last page that they're displaying here because it gives us a breakdown. So go ahead and zoom in and take a look all right so again average chart at the top tells you the details of your new charges and then you're gonna look for your your rate so your rate is always going to be right here and then it'll give you your billing period which is anywhere from 32 to 28 days uh, depending on the billing cycle with that uh, you do see your delivery charges and then it goes down to generation charges along with your taxes which it looks like just state tax on this one so you will add your on peak time into your on peak delivery charges with your on peak generation charges and that'll give you more of a true cost uh, i know the website displays about 50 cents this is roughly about 42 to 43 cents here on this bill along with it looks like the mid peak is somewhere around like 16 to i believe 18 cents and then off peak lower and it looks like it's about 10 to yeah looks like it's about 10 10.5 cents so with that that would kind of give you more of a whole cost instead of being like hey you know i signed up on the because when you sign up they'll be like hey you get charged this and everything in the bill it'll be like i, I was told i get charged this rate it's just making sure you're asking questions about your delivery and generation and then adding those together kind of giving you a more whole uh charge uh with that at optowatt that's how we kind of do bills as we look at both of those and kind of give you more of a whole charge but again this is why we do these these videos to kind of give you a look at what the cost is and how to break that down uh thanks for watching everyone thanks for uh you know, watching and seeing how bills break down along with, uh, if you want to find out more about Optowatt, you can find out at getoptowatt.com along with we're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So, um, and if you need any support, email us at support at getoptowatt.com. I will answer any of your emails, or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks. Today's video was powered by Leap.